I want healing to take place right here in this space, this safe, safe space. So are you guys ready? All right, let's hear Julie's voice. Hi. So I was in there with my daughter, and we still, it still feel like, it doesn't feel like a week. It feel like it just happened. Like, I, my daughter has to grow up. I, I don't know even what to say to her anymore. I don't even have an explanation. We just need to change this before my daughter grow up in this. Like, I don't want her to grow up in this. She has a pure heart, and I want her to stay like that. I don't want her to hate anybody. But, but y'all need to... What's going to happen next? That's all I've been having to say. Like, what is the next step after these media people leave, after the phone call stops, after after, after everything? We're still going to have that mental, like, I'm paranoid, I'm, I am panic, like, I have anxiety now. I never thought I would have anything like that. I thought I was the strongest person ever. That proved me wrong. I swear it proved me wrong. Like, I'm just here every single day because it just gives me hope that it is, a, it is a change that's coming, maybe. And I say maybe because this happened before. This happened before. This is not nothing new. Like, I just want to just come here every day and just volunteer. That's what I've been doing, keeping my mind off of it. But when I go home, I still have the same problems. I still have the same trauma. These people lost their lives. I interacted with some of the people that was in there before they died. I was probably the last people they talked to. And that should have been that shouldn't have been it at all. They should have been talking to their families, walking out of that tops. Like after this, I want y'all to keep that same energy. That's right. That's right. Keep that same energy. Right. Don't let this die down. Because this changed my life. Y'all don't even know. My birthday was the next day, and I almost didn't see it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They asked me why I come outside, why I do this. Why, why you want me to hide? Why you want me to stay in the house? Why? So that, that, then that means they won. I'm not letting them win. That's right, Julie. That's right. I'm not. That's right. Woo! That's right. No, well, that's all I had to say, and I'm sorry for the families that lost their lives. I swear I am. Like, this is messing us up every single day. But well, every single day we get stronger. You know what I'm saying? All the support. This is this means a lot to us. Y'all don't even know. I don't care about those presents that y'all give London. Give her support. Some, she needs to talk to somebody. Professional, because I don't know what to say to her. I don't. I don't know what to say to my baby. This messed her up. Like I'm. I hope this doesn't traumatize her for the rest of her life. But it might. It just might. So just keep that in mind. Everybody say uh, they love you to everybody they love. Just don't pass nobody without saying you love them. Don't. Don't have a little spat, and you might not see that person the next day. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just, I'm just, I'm just happy that all the survivors are, are still alive. But we have survival guilt. We do. Why? Why? And that's all I gotta say. Everybody, have a good day. We're gonna. We're gonna just come together and that's all we need to do. That's all we need to do. Thank you. Told you that was gonna be powerful. This is one of the strongest women I've bumped into.